our people welcome back to another video all right guys so today i'm gonna show you guys how to enable in the fluid motion i released a, a video a couple months ago showing you guys how to do it but i've seen some people commenting on my video saying they have an issue doing it so i'm just gonna revisit the installation and show you guys how to do it step by step to see if i can make it more simple for you guys and show you what's going on right as you guys may know amd fluid motion that doubles your frame rate gives you a smoother experience while playing your games so let me get into it real quick see if i can make this video real quick for you guys first thing you guys need to do you need to download the amd driver you just need to go to the official amd website once you do that you get here to the screen I already selected everything that you need to select to download the driver so you need to go to processor with graphics amd Ryzen processor, AMD Ryzen Z processor with Radeon graphics. Then you go to the right, AMD Radeon 7784OU. Then you hit submit. When you do that, you gotta download the Windows 11 64 bit, Windows 11 64 bit edition. The auto check, this one will not work, so you have to scroll down. You wanna get this one, AMD Adrenaline Edition, and download. You also need something to extract it with. This is the easiest way. I uh, use uh, 7-zip, just come here, or 7-zip.zip.org, or you could just type in 7-zip in Google and it'll come up. They need to download the 64-bit version of that and install it as well. Once you got those two stuff installed, you go to Downloads. You can see them right here, see 7-zip and everything. I mean, if you already install 7-zip, you want to make sure you install it before you start doing this. So you would install that. So this is the Adrenaline Driver software package that I would download from the website. You want to right click, show more, and want to extract it with 7-zip. So you'll see 7-zip right here. And you want to extract it. You want to come here, you're going to see extract, extract to whatever it is right here. Like that. It's going to do its thing. All right, so now that you got it extracted, you'll see it right here. The new package. So now you want to go to device manager. You could just type it in, but I already got it right here. You want to go to display adapter open it up you're gonna see amd radian graphics you want to right click update driver browse from my computer for drivers let me pick from a list then you click on have disk browse you want to go to where you wherever you put uh the extracted the extracted file so it should be in downloads right here click on that i'm gonna go to packages drivers display wt64 inf then you will choose this inf file right here then you press ok then it's going to show you all the files that you downloaded from the amd website then you want to scroll down till you see the 7 adm which is right here so amd radeon tm 7 adm then next and go yes all right so when it's done it will let you know and if you want to re revert back to the ASUS official drivers directly from ASUS, you can do that anytime, guys. It's not going to be a problem. Now, you can restart at a later time. Now, you just need to uninstall the Adrenaline software because it will not be compatible with this new driver. So, you need to go to Applications. So, you want to uninstall the AMD software. So now you go back to the same downloads. So you go back to downloads and where, where, wherever you install and extract the software, you go back into that package. Once you get here, go to packages, drivers, display, WT6A, INF. When you get here, you want to look for this folder, B4010180. You want to scroll down till you see, till you see CC2 install. Once you see this, right click and want to run as admin. So this is just basically the new Adrenaline software that's compatible with the new drivers that you just installed. After this, you just got to do a, a restart. So once that's done, you can close this out. All right, so the reason why you're seeing all this green text is because I hit show details. So you could hit show details and it show you everything that's installing. If you're kind of wondering why this is on my screen, but after it's done, it might take a little bit because I cut the video. 
So that's why you're seeing this now. So until that's done, you hit close and you hit the system with a restart. All right, so once you're back up and running, you want to open up the general software. Once you're here, everything should be up and running. But as you guys may know or may not know, to track your FPS, your overlay will not work even from Afterburner or from Asus. So if you want to track your FPS for the new frame generation, you just want to go to this right here, notification thing. I think I already got it. Uh, enable already but once you come in here you will see something that says performance metrics require a setup you want to make sure you set that up so you could actually enable that so once you enable that you want to go to performance you want to go to overlay and want to enable it see i already got it enabled from the first time when i did it so this tracks the frame generated frames that you're getting from fluid motion if you don't have this on you will not see the generated frames you're getting from fluid motion right so make sure you want to enable that and asus tracking software does not work with this so you won't be seeing the generated frames again and afterburner does not work as well so you have to use the amd overlay to see what's going on so here it says game detected overlay you want to make sure this is on so it turns on whenever the game is booted up see when i turn it off it pops up up here because it's going to be enabled at all times if you don't have this selected right then you can also tweak, mess with the size and everything, put it to your liking and how you want it to look, right? Then you want to go to games, go to graphics, come down here, you would see AMD fluid motion frames. And then this is where you can enable it, disable it right from here. Some people, what I'm hearing, you want to make sure you have radiant anti-lag on as well, because that with this, AMD Food Motion, there's a bit of a latency and stuff like that. All depends on what type of game you're playing. It's not really great for first person shooter, like maybe like Warzone and stuff like that, because you're getting a little bit of lag and that might hinder your, your playing style, right? But this helps with the lag a little bit, so you want to make sure this is on so you get the best experience while playing. Most people use this with a single player game because the lag doesn't affect you as much when you're playing single player game. But it's up to you, still works with Warzone and stuff like that because I played it a couple times and it wasn't really bothering me that much but for some people it, sh it will, right? Uh, one of the things I forgot to mention in the overlay, you once you go to tracking, you could also enable whatever you want, FPS latency, GPU, GPU memory, CPU, system memory and it could show you whatever you want on the screen while you're playing so you can mess with that as well and it will show you what's going on. If you go into each game, you could enable it by game by game basis. So you don't have to enable this for each game. So if you just want it for Spider-Man, you go into Spider-Man, enable it in here. If you don't want it for Warzone, you can go in here and you can disable it. See, you got it disabled. So it's up to you how you wanna uh, how you wanna do it, guys. And that's basically it. Uh let me know if this helped you out in the comment section down below, guys. And let me know if it's working for you, uh, if the lag is too too much for you let me know in the comment section hit that like button sub to channel for more awesome content guys and thanks for tuning in guys remember what i always say health is wealth peace and love i'm out guys